up round game. We in this in this thing I say up round game. We in this in this thing I say up round game. We in this in this thing I say up round game. We in this in this thing I say uh we be turned up, we be talking about them Aries. What you doing if you ain't looking for no Aries? Y'all, <laughs> y'all love y'all so very much. Gang, 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 gang. Where well, I'm gang? What's up, baby? What's popping? What's going on in the life of an Aries for mid-month August? Let me tell you what's going on with me. Decisions, decisions. Downloads and shit about that download though two nights ago. You got an Aries, I'm sorry, you got a, a water moon. Oh yeah, you got it. If you got an air air sign in your moon or your Venus, oh, oh if you got it about that. That helping us make those decisions, Aries. Some paths you gotta go down. You gotta close out cycles before you start something new. Even if them old cycles wanna start something new. You know what you gotta do. Y'all see this look, uh, this little smirky smile. Y'all Aries, <laughs> so you already know this little smirky smile. Hmm. <laughs> I'm Aries too. This is for my Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, as well as the cross watches for the sign of Aries from the 15th to the 31st of August. If this is your first time to my channel. Hey, boo, hey, I'm Mocha. Uh, welcome to my channel. For the new subscribers, thank you so much for subscribing. Y'all, thank you for the likes, the shares, the comments, the love. I read every single comment. And if I can't respond, I do hard it just to let you know, hey, I want to acknowledge and share my love with you. I'm appreciative. Thank y'all so much. Also, get in on your read special Aries, save you some money. I did have a breaking news video. The, the most recent one just extended the date until the 20th. It still stands with the price. Everything is everything. Um, y'all love y'all. Y'all, we finna win. Y'all ready to win? I literally hear that damn song. Win. Win, 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 win. <laughs> win, 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 win. <laughs> y'all. <laughs> win. Win, 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 win. Nudes. Aces and aces in the building, okay. The newness, <laughs> y'all. Blind faith, taking a leap of faith. You got it. You don't gotta know no good. Just know it's good karma, okay. Blind faith. Make a decision though. What do you want, Aries? Right. So the first message just come from. Uh, okay, of course. This is, I gotta give this feel. This is a personal. I'm sorry. This is a general. Look at me. Not a personal, okay? Um, so if you do need a personal again, keep me up, y'all. I, I shouldn't have to say that, but you'll be damn surprised. I got to say it. All right, so the first message comes from the Crystal Angels Oracle Cords from Doreen Virtue, okay? The first message that my Aries got was Azurite. Deep emotional healing. Your heart is ready to heal from past experiences, and you are willing to devote time and, and energy toward therapeutic care. This is a positive card showing that you're ready to process and move on from painful experiences and trauma. This means that you're open to receiving healing energy and insights about your experiences. You're guided to devote time for your personal healing work. This may involve appointments with therapists or healers or spending extra time in prayer and meditation or on self-care practices. Okay, Detoxification from chemicals and processed foods and also negative influences comes up very strongly for you right now, okay? So detoxify your life. People, places, things with that bullshit that is bullshit. If you can't smell nothing off of them, but the bull plus the shit they got to, is out. They got to go. Open the door. Tell them, <laughs> let the door hit you with the good Lord should have split you. You got to go. All right. So the next message that I got, of course, Aries got two. We're desecrate. Be gentle with yourself. You've been through a lot and need time to heal and recover. So I feel like when some of us, we're not making a decision. Some of us are moving in the energy of, because I know, I'm, I am said us because Mocha's one of these people. Not making a decision, we're just making a decision. But the universe doesn't see it that way. The universe knows that we're witty like that. They know that we're smart. And they know that that head is going to lead us to some little way to make it work for us. But we can shift it out of our comfort zone during this time, y'all. And it's about having faith and literally taking in the energy to heal 
and be willing to heal deeper situations like abandonment issues, rejection issues. Those energies are coming up right now during this time. That download, a lot of us will be seeing ancestors during this time. Do not be afraid to those of you whose eye just freshly open. During this time, some of y'all eye will, some of y'all third eye, your pineal, it will be wide open. Okay? So you will be able to see ancestry, spirit guides. Some of you will be able to see a lot of things. Okay? Do not be afraid. Be embracing. Be receiving. Okay? Many of calls, you are chosen. You are a spiritual teacher, Aries. Most of us are some type of spiritual counselors or some type of mentor. Ta-da! You're here watching my ass. So just know that we have a greater purpose, which is why a lot of people come to us for advice and things regarding perception. And during this time, your perception on the situation, possibly from your past, is definitely a situation that needs to be cycled out with it being a 21, but it could also bring expansion to your life. So some of y'all, it definitely involves a situation with a baby. Okay, some of y'all are walking away from situations in order to start anew and you're going to be very successful, but it's going to be your perspective on things that help you get out the damn door and to see things, to see things for what they are. A lot of y'all are going to take the damn blinders off. You see this lady with the things on her face? You're going to take the blinders off. A lot of y'all have not been communicating the things that you truly want and your perspective on things. And during this time, either you're going to be receiving this. A, a perspective maybe from from someone from your I know it's someone from your past spirit is saying it's a cycle okay so definitely it's going to be a perspective shift for some of y'all and it definitely can involve children for some of y'all you're going to be finding out you're pregnant during this time I know y'all want to hear this shit but I'm going to dance anyway congratulations mocha love the kids okay I babysit, but I promise you got to come pick them up the same day. And I only, I only, only send them over here if I can feed them because I like to see kids eat. I don't know what that's about. <laughs> y'all, some of us during this time, some of y'all got options. Options galore. Some of them definitely involve a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and this person loves you, okay? This person wants to grow with you. They want to transform a situation that possibly was once dead into something beautiful. They want to make a solid offer. This person has kind of come into balancing their feminine energy more so. One second, Aries. Come on, boy. Mari. Yeah. Come on, dude. I hope you're not. You got on clothes? Yeah. You got on clothes? Yeah. Okay, because I got a camera on. These people, all these people going to see your booty booty. Why are you coming here with no clothes? Don't come here with no clothes. I'm coming here shrieking. I'm recording. Okay, hush. All right, so Aries, back to business. I excuse my baby. He ain't here looking for clothes. He loses his everything. It's okay. Luckily, his head is attached to his body, so he can't lose it. <laughs> but um, y'all, you have a water sign. This person is in love with you. This person looks at you like they don't. For some of them, they know that they have to balance out a situation in order for you to take their leap of faith. And for some of y'all, it definitely involves finances. For some of y'all, you could have definitely been dealing with a Libra. There was a lot of love with this person. You love this person, okay? But you just didn't want to step off the cliff for their ass. For some of y'all, y'all finna step off the cliff for this Libra or this water sign, okay? For some of y'all, this person is coming back into your life to add newness and they want to get, they want to, they want to balance the skills with you, okay? They want to take that leap of faith to try to move past, past, past issues that possibly someone possibly could have left. Or they feel like they want to get over this woulda, coulda, shoulda, what happened back then. I mean, because it was what happened back then that created the greatness in who you are today, right now. You know, it's how you perceive the situation. If you want to look at it like, oh, you left me, you this, this, this. Okay, you can you can look at it like that. Or, especially if you want to manifest this person back, or you can look at it like, you know what? That person did leave. But during that time, I had my own. I ain't lost shit. I ain't lost shit. Aries, a lot of y'all, I ain't lost shit. I still had my strength, my sanity, my intuition was still popping. Not only that, I still was getting to this money. I had options still. You didn't stop my show. But there was a lesson to be learned, and it's how you perceive it. And it's definitely going to be a time of forgiveness during this time. Okay? 
All right, so every some of y'all could definitely be moving forward with a Libra during the 15th to the 31st of August. Some of y'all have a Leo that wants to come in, and this person, this person wants to move forward with you. Some of y'all, this could definitely, this could be an Aries Leo Sagittarius. Someone wants to start something new with you. This could definitely be someone that you have children with. This person definitely wants to materialize something. They want to offer you something stable. Okay, they want to move past the past. Okay, they want to take that leap of faith where in the past they kept everything close to their chest. Okay. For some of y'all, you're needing to heal mother issues, okay? For some of y'all, this could you could who is a mother, okay? Maybe the mother, you the mother of uh, someone's child or your mother, okay, during this time. Spirit is calling for you to heal these relationships, Aries. Mother issues, Aries. People who have mother issues, heal them. Because ultimately, the, in order for you to perceive a situation, the way where you can perceive it and embrace it through and through and with light and understanding, okay? The understanding in which you can actually enlighten another upon, okay? To who's going to come to you going forward doing your journey because you have to go through this in order to enlighten someone else in a preventative way. Maybe they finna pull the damn trigger because they codependent in love and you have a, you offer them a different perception, but you have to live in order to attain that wisdom. And for some of y'all, it's closing out cycles, but you have two options. You can close it out and say, fuck it, because you ain't lost nothing, okay? Or you can go forward, okay, and, and gain another perspective, perception of the situation, okay, to move forward and materialize something and make it beautiful again. We pioneered, baby. We, but I see now, Aries, this has to do with balance. For some of y'all, you can been seeing two, two, two lately. If you're dealing with a Libra, a lot of y'all, Libra is your twin flame, okay? This person could have, I feel like this person is trying to battle, they sh balance their shat, and that's funny I said battle, and I meant to say balance, so for some of y'all, this person is literally fighting this against a war between them and themselves, this could be the mother of some of y'all children, this could be the father of some of y'all children, hell, this could be some of y'all kids as well, somebody is battling literally like the darkness and the light. And I feel like it's them against themselves, but if they're needing to balance themselves, they're needing to be centered. Aries, a lot of y'all are being centered to be able to heal the situation, especially if this is your children and you are the mother. Okay? Some of y'all are welcoming in new babies, possibly from someone who uh, recently just came into your life and you're scared as hell. You're like, what the fuck? For some of y'all, it happened. it's happening to bring that fear of, Maybe some of y'all are single parents and you're just like, oh, no, I don't. No, 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 no. Because that person left me, so this person's going to leave me. God is giving you newness to show you who he is. Okay? So, Spirit, please show me during this time between the 15th and the 31st the messages you have for the sign of parents. Thank you, Spirit. Yeah, some of y'all. Some of y'all are going to balance the karmic skills out possibly with another Aries. If Aries, some of y'all are dealing with an Aries. And maybe in the past this person was defensive with you. This person is going to be coming forward to offer you a new beginning, something solid. They want to water their own grass. But some of y'all, it's definitely, they're coming to nurture a situation, but a communication that's going to affect your perception is going to um, be coming forward. For some of y'all, it's an earth sign, Capricorn, towards Virgo. But for some of y'all, Shit's finna hit the fan. You definitely finna have a tower moment, Aries. I'm feeling within the next seven days. This could have been, this could be something that's seven months old, seven years old, but shit's finna hit the fan. It's a karmic year, eight. The 26th of August is gonna be a very interesting month, uh, a very interesting day for Aries. Past, past life hurdles are very imperative during this time, okay? Um, and I mean past life hurdles. If in a past life you could not leave a person who was very toxic to you, this person cheated on you, and this person has followed you during this lifetime, okay, to fulfill that soul contract, well, you chose, you signed up to have that person come back for you to jump that hurdle and be able to move forward with them. But it's about you choosing yourself and loving yourself enough to leave their ass to know, to get the fucking lesson behind it. Just know it's a very hurtful time, okay? Some of y'all out here could be breaking loose towards a Scorpio that you were trying to fix it with. Some of y'all gonna get to know why this person uh could be being defensive towards you. Some of y'all have a water sign again, they go that Scorpio can a cancer Pisces, but uh I have the tower card here, so I definitely see that Scorpio here. But some of y'all could also be a cancer. Some of y'all are being defensive towards a cancer who actually wants to come in and nurture the situation. For you, this for for this person, I feel like you're their wish, okay? But Aries, you just wanted something new. 
some of y'all all hell is gonna break loose with an Aquarius, okay? Um, I feel like this person. I feel like in the past this person was very defensive. There was no communication. Whoever this is that you're gonna be, whoever this is that you're dealing with in your past, Aries, the issue was communication. All these damn cards on the board, y'all. No swords. Fire. A little bit of water. Earth. Someone has definitely started something new. Somebody, the mother or the father of your child is coming, y'all. And I feel like in the past this person was toxic. But now they're wanting this Ten of Pentacles. And you can either go into this new cycle with their ass, okay? Go into it flourishly and be happy. And don't doubt, okay? Or you can move away. Because honestly, either way you go, the karmic skills is balanced. Because this is definitely someone who left you in the past. Some of y'all got a Capricorn coming in. And you definitely have a family dynamic with this person, okay? I feel like this person can be very, your, your, your connection with this person in the past possibly was codependent, but they wanted to come in to work things out and come into a new cycle with you, okay? Some of, yeah, some of y'all, again, some of y'all are going into another cycle. You're ending one cycle to go forward into a new cycle. For some of y'all, it's definitely with a Pisces. You have a Pisces that's wanting to come in. And this is some type of blended family, okay? And this is the universe sending you good karma, Aries. You have to take that leap of faith. It's up to you. Yeah. Some of y'all are... Some of y'all are... Yeah, some of y'all got a fire sign coming in, Aries Leo Sag. This person is wanting to reunite the balance of karma skills. For some of y'all, it's been y'all wish for quite some time. And now this person is coming. For some of y'all, I feel like treasure dreams. You've been dreaming and seeing this person coming. For some of y'all, they're coming to communicate passionately. Something about a child. Some of y'all definitely have new love coming in. Cancer Pisces, Scorpio, okay. Somebody who's younger than you. One second. Yeah, some of y'all have a passion. You're going to move forward passionately with someone. Or someone who put you in a three-party situation. Maybe you put someone in a three-party situation, but now you want to move away from that. This person may have been defensive with you, Aries, but you look at this person as a nurturer. You want to nurture this person. You want to nurture the situation. You want to create it again. You want to see it created again. Or maybe this is in your energy. You could also be speaking about a Taurus, a Libra, or a Virgo. Yeah, some of y'all definitely got this Capricorn coming in to offer y'all a new beginning. Maybe this person could have left you in the past. Possibly in the this person possibly have been stalking your stalking your page as well, stalking stalking your social media, stalking. You have an energy that is they want to offer you a new beginning, but they're watching you not in a weird I'm gonna like blow your fucking house away. No, in a weird <laughs> no in a way that like this person maybe it's been maybe seven seven months. Seven weeks, seven years since this person um, have offered you something, or maybe have you since you've been kind of in turmoil with this person, and it's built a level of defensiveness, okay? And for some of y'all, what you don't know is that this person still have love for you. They want to recreate with you. For some of y'all, it's definitely a Sagittarius. You and this person could have been in a third party situation, and this person is kind of looking at you and looking at your thing. To see if there's still love there. For some of y'all, you have someone who will not go no damn where. And you want to move on and get your damn cup so water sign. Cancer Pisces Scorpio. But you have a sash that won't go no damn where. Or well, Aries, maybe this is you. Some of y'all are wanting a family dynamic with an Aquarius, okay? Maybe someone from a past life, all right? Or someone who you have children with. You want, during this time, you, you want to be making that offer. But some, or this person is making that offer to you. Because some of y'all, y'all been wishing on the star for this. During this time, some of you may be seeing shooting stars as well. Some of y'all have someone in possibly the Sagittarius want to come in and actually work a situation out. They want to turn the situation around and offer you newness. Because they've also been wishing on the star for some of y'all with the Leo. But they've all been, also been wishing on a star. They want their family back. They want to start something new. But I feel like something is going to be communicated in order for some type of perception shift to take place. Some of y'all going to be finding out that somebody left you in a third party situation. Somebody left. 
Scorpio, strong emphasis on Scorpio. Somebody lives to go have a new beginning, possibly a whole child on the way with a Virgo. Some of y'all are going to find this out. Some of y'all are going to find it out during your downloads. Some of y'all have, um, yeah, some of y'all are, some of y'all are having a child woman because you're going to find out you're pregnant and y'all don't want to be pregnant. But this baby is going to shape a whole new level of newness in your life. Hold on, let me cut the light on because I'm getting too dark up in here. Hold on. Shit, I can't see the damn still. Mm. Candles was not working in this boy. How about that? <laughs> okay. All right. Now some of y'all definitely got a Leo in your energy. Some of y'all could be finding out you're pregnant by a Leo. Or a Leo is pregnant by you. Some of y'all, somebody from your past. A lot of your options from a lot of options from your past, y'all, are gonna be coming up. And you, all, everybody wants something new. It's up for you. To, it's up to you to trust your intuition and what works best for you. Yeah, somebody from your past that felt like things couldn't be resurrected, or felt like maybe you cut them off, or maybe they made you feel like you weren't good enough, y'all. Some of y'all are stalking somebody. I have a water sign stalking you, water or air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This person ultimately have good intentions. They do want to offer you something um, materialistic, okay? Some of y'all have a water sign in your energy that's afraid that you're going to get, they're going to get left out in the cold, uh, possibly for a fire sign or a, or earth sign. Yeah, some of y'all, some of y'all have somebody in y'all energy as well, possibly an earth sign who's going to try to hold on to you for financial reasons or some of y'all are trying to hold on to a job and God is screaming at you leave so I can bless you the way that I'm trying to bless you but you shortening your own blessings because you limiting your beliefs well maybe well maybe they'll give me more money if I work my ass out twice as hard then they give you more money it's eight damn months later and it's only 65 cents and you want to slap the shit out of the person who yeah I've been there, done that, okay? Some of y'all have an earth sign trying to hold on to you, and this person is a blockage to your money. That's what some spirits say. That's about 20% of y'all. Jeez. Somebody holding on to y'all for y'all coin? At least you know we don't play that shit <laughs> at all. But, yeah, definitely going forward, a lot of y'all are going to be receiving some type of loving communication, okay? For some of y'all, it's an apology, all right? For some of y'all, you're going to receive an apology from someone possibly a Sagittarius or a Libra. Possibly someone who was juggling you in the past, someone who made you feel maybe that you weren't good enough or some type of remorseful, okay? But cutting cutting the way that you perceive the situation off and going forward, going towards love in the situation will balance the karmic scales. For some of y'all, you're going to be cutting off. You're going to apologize. I'm, I apologize. I forgive you. Mwah, mwah, deuces. And that's also going to balance the karmic scale. For some of y'all, some of y'all finna cut off some. Some of y'all finna cut somebody off and actually go forward into a marriage, possibly with the Taurus. But I feel like either way, either way you go, Aries, you're gonna have to cut somebody off. And either person you cut off, both of them gonna feel like this. So you have to make a decision. For some of y'all, you have a Cancer Pisces Scorpio strong emphasis on a Scorpio, or a Pisces who feel like. Who, who feel like you possibly abandoned them or you're going to leave them like you don't see that they're the one. And to be honest with you, you actually want to make this person a solid beginning, okay? But you do have to handle some shit from your past in order for you to move forward and you can love, okay? Some of y'all are going to be cutting some people off, air signs, strong emphasis, and moving forward abundantly by yourself. Some of y'all, it's a water sign you could not be moving on, moving on abundantly by yourself, but... The ultimate energy in this reading, y'all, is healing, healing, going into new cycles and being receptive. OK, changing your perspective and how you look at things, changing, change. Don't look at things immediately for the negative. Don't be like, oh, my gosh, why universe are you doing this to me? If you want to know, most Aries have jumped over their hurdle, have hurdle over their karmic shit. This, these retrogrades ain't doing nothing but dusting off the damn debris, baby, so we can get up and hit the ground running in our normal, natural, God-given energy. Okay? Y'all yeah, love you. Keep shining your lights bright. I wish you much love and prosperity and many blessings, baby.
and until September the 1st, I think I'm coming to y'all with a whole crimson attitude, redhead central, <laughs> thinking about it. I uh, will definitely see you guys then. Till then, thanks for the like, the love, the likes, the shares, the laughs, all that. I appreciate it. Mm. Deuces, Ram Gang. <laughs>